I'm Lance Powell, Supervising Art Director here at CIG. This is... Steve Bender, Animation Director, Cloud Imperium. And we're just going to have a quick little conversation about you. That's what they tell me. Yes, yes. What do you do exactly? You know, every day I come into work and I wonder that exact question. So I direct animation, which means that it's a whole bunch of stuff. So, for instance, uh, motion capture. I'll direct motion capture. I was just in... England for about um, three weeks, I think it was, and we shot the motion capture for stocked rifle for uh, heavy armor characters using the Firestorm weapon, for the Van Duel, for um, persistent universe actions, things within uh, Terra, in the Art Court bar. We shot some really cool stuff with aircraft carriers, like the shooters on the aircraft carriers that fire off jets. Once I, I'm done with that, I come back in, I do the selects, those go out to the mocap studio. When they come back to us, I then work with the team in implementing those animations. So things like, for instance, um, one of the actions that we're working on for FPS is we're doing jukes so that we get solid weight shifts between how, how characters move one direction to the other. Because in your typical first-person shooter, that weight shift is almost instantaneous. Uh, and we wanted to, to sort of slow things down and get more of a realistic feel to the combat. So we're getting those weight shifts with those jukes and those, those motion changes. So this is part of what you're doing to up the ante on the animation side. Absolutely. Uh, for both FPS and PU. Absolutely. Uh, what, what other things do you have coming down the pike? Well, we're working on uh, Arena Commander, uh, Ship Enters and Exits, and we, what we did is we took all of the ships in the game and built them on set. Um, it was, it was kind of hard to get the thrusters working, but uh, eventually, you know, it all kind of worked. Uh, are, but are, we, they, are, we, are they flyable? <laughs> They're not flyable. Well, we tried, but, you know, there's one crash too many. We actually had a... Um, three different types of enters. So we have a normal enter, like you're just getting into your spaceship. We have a combat enter, which is as if you're scrambling units. And we have emergency enters and exits. So for instance, you would use this as if you're standing there and all of a sudden you turn around and there's a horde of Van Duel chasing you. It, it's time to get in the plane. You didn't know about them beforehand? No. Okay. Uh, or if you're in the plane and the thing's on fire and it's about to explode, it's time to get out. Yeah, you didn't know about that before? No, we didn't know okay. about that. No. Okay. So, how, um, uh, can you talk about the, the performance that you've been, uh, that you've captured in the past, and how is it different than the stuff that you're doing for CIG? Yeah, so the things that we've captured in the past have been primarily concerned with, uh, in previous games, more police slash military sort of, sort of actions, and they're all human. So for the stuff that we're doing for CIG, um, we still do have the military uh, angle to this, and we hired uh, some military gentlemen to come in and, and perform the motion capture for us. But we're also mo-capping aliens so that uh, there's a particular look that uh, Chris was looking for and that we worked together in, in pre visiting this on set with, a, with an actor. And uh, from there, we came to something that uh, was, was thought to be really solid for the Van Duel, and then we went and did the motion sets for it. Spaceships, all the stuff in spaceships is new for me. Um, I've done some minor flight control animations and stuff like mm -hmm. that before, but just the, the sheer size of some of these ships and the things that you can do in them is completely a new a new concept and then as well in the persistent universe so in previous projects one of the things that I always tried to get in is this aspect that these aren't AI they're enemy characters they they have lives they have names right his, his before he showed up with his gun his name might have been Bob mm -hmm. And he had just woken up, maybe he had an argument with his wife the day before or something, he put on a uniform, he comes out, says freeze, and you shoot him. 
right? right? Which is kind of uncool, right? It's really uncool. It's like, it's like the, the guys who worked on the Death Star when you blow that, that damn thing up. And you're yeah, like, exactly. Oh, it's what, not all stormtroopers, there's contractors on there. So, yeah, so one of the things that I was really interested in getting was real honest life to the PU. So creating these little scenes and these little vignettes within the persistent universe that we can use uh, on the different planets, that each planet has its own particular feel and flavor to, to how things go. Uh, we also are looking into emotes. So not just your typical sort of MMO emotes where they're, they're very grandiose and very showy. What's more realistic and more honest for Star Citizen, the Star Citizen universe? Um, as well, we took a look at different cultures here on Earth and the different ways that people interact with each other. So in some cultures, if I wave to you and I want you to come over, I'm going to use my whole hand and I'm going to wave like this. And in others, Did you get this I, may, I may go like this. You got this one right. No, this we don't have universal. that one yet. This is pretty universal. Now. That see that, but see, we have Moby Glass, so we would oh, be doing yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. Uh, yeah. Right. Everybody's going like this. The only problem is, is that Moby Glass. It's it's <clears throat> kind of transparent like this, and I, I, you know, I was always wondering, can you see what someone else is looking at from the other side? Because that could be really kind of embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> no. No porn. Um, but but we had um, no porn. <laughs> That's right, right? Yeah, damn it. Let them be themselves. There's no cursing. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> yeah, so this anyway. This is live, is it? Sorry. So, so with the emotes, um, we did a lot of things related to, so if I'm going to call you, I'm going to wave like this, whereas some cultures, uh, they'll wave mm -hmm. down like this because this is calling your dog right. or something like that. So, um, and we did different takes on, okay, what is it, what's a wave like in this culture or that culture? And, we also looked at uh, things such as with the Knicks. We said, well, the Knicks spend a lot of time in EVA. So if someone is out in space and the distances that, that you're probably out at that, it was EVA. that extravehicular activity, <clears throat> I believe that, it I'm good stands that, for, that works. means I'm, I'm chilling out in space, right, right. right? Floating in space. When I'm floating in space, I'm probably floating quite a distance away from somebody else. And there may not be a strong light source for me to be able to be seen very well. So all of the motions that the Knicks do in space are rather large motions, mm -hmm. right? And what sort of things can we also do um, to sort of allow them to communicate from long distances. We also, in, in doing this, we looked at um, technology that the military has. And, and one of the really cool things is um, an infrared buzzsaw. And it's like a, it's a light on a string. And you spin this. And if I'm looking at you doing this, I don't at night, I don't really see anything. But if there's a chopper pilot overhead and he has his IR goggles on, he can see this light mm -hmm. spinning and he knows where the extraction point is. So he said, okay, well maybe there's, maybe there's ways that they communicate. Um, maybe yes is this big circle in front of them, right? And if you see them from a distance, you you may not be able to tell what they're doing, but if another Nix is seeing them, perhaps his helmet mm -hmm. reads mm -hmm. that motion and creates uh, some sort of visual element, right? Um, so we're looking, we're looking into things like that That's as well. Right. Yeah. So what's your, <clears throat> I mean, you've seen almost every aspect of the game so far. What's your favorite component and what's your favorite component to work that, that you're seeing slowly being developed? Well, I'm really excited about the FPS. I'm really excited about the FPS because I'm an FPS guy. I am too. Um, but um, <clears throat> some of the things that we're doing on the FPS side that I've been pushing into other projects that I've, I've worked on um, with some amount of success um, 
like especially with the, the player, the jukes and the jives and all that stuff like that, I'm really excited about that because that's going to really make the players not only look more realistic but feel more realistic. Mm -hmm. And it's also going to add this, this tactical requirement. So if I'm going to be moving out of cover and I'm going to try and get back into cover, I have to understand that if I'm going to be running out of cover this way and I'm going to cut back, that's going to take me time to do that, mm -hmm. right? Um, so, yeah, that's, I think that's probably the... That's probably the I'm not Steve Bender, animation <laughs> director of CIG. And I'm not sure if I am either, but uh, we'll see you next time around the verse. <laughs>